Ready? <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? This is the Poker <laughs> Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at that little hand history from yesterday, a little fun day, fun game. Let's go. I want to run a hand history. Submit a ticket. Raise, 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 raise. What do we do here? We call. No. Nothing. Next. We're going to try to do a fast win here. Here, oh, interesting. I think it's a big bet, but we're so multi way that it's probably not a big bet, right? So it's probably like it, it's a check. Yeah, I would check. Small. I'm not gonna check, guys. I'm sorry. So here's the <laughs> oh, thing not that small, probably quarter pot. It's, it's one of your it's your worst days. You might have eight, seven, and you're <laughs> against three people. So why would you want to bet? Because we have top pair. Clear out some broadways. What uh, aid does he have yeah. when he flats? Not very much aids, right? Which is the big blind? This smashes the big blind. It's the small blind's got the all the middling suited stuff. He's got ace I, eight suited, probably. I remember somebody on here a few months ago saying that you should check if you're not last to act in a multi way pot. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Starts with a no. Okay, so it's not even a normal hand, actually. Is it's a lip under lands? the gun. We raise. And Big Black is not here. So when I see this, I'm like, this guy doesn't have much hate. He could show me a save, but there's nothing, right? Not much hate not here. Not much hate here. I mean, so probably going to bet. Yeah. Usually if I was at up, I would size up here, but you know, multi-way, I size down a little bit. Okay, we get that. We get another A. Now we can pull her. So I think for now good. I don't want to pull her eyes because he almost never has an eight here. Giving him too good of a price for his flush draws. I don't think he has much of a flush draw either. No, you don't think he has much of anything. Yeah. He's calling. If he's not calling with a flush draw, what is he calling with? <laughs> Pocket yeah. tens. I don't know. Sevens, maybe. You don't think he's raising pocket tens pre flop? Yeah, he would. He lip would, under he the gun. Raise. Seven, sixes could be. Can we get this polarize, here? If you polarize better, you have a better shovel in the river. This is like such a. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's nothing too interesting about this hand. It's a very standard yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like your seabed push... on the flop, Galen? Uh, I, I it's one of those things that's you can take it or leave it. To be it's honest. not great, but it's not bad. I'm sure it's not bad. It's not. I I don't really have a huge opinion on it. Like I mean, sure, your eight needs a little protection. Um, the sandwich player in the middle multi way does check more. Like I could take it or leave it. That's like our worst eight. Yeah, it probably is. <sighs> I don't think it's making a big mistake either way. Yeah. He's got pocket fives. That's the only reason this would have been saved. Five three. Five three. Okay, he's got a five. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. This is like it's just out of range. This guy's like a fish for being this in is, there. Yeah, I don't know. Is, yeah, I don't know. This how hand he calls is so turn. weird. Yeah. This, this this hand is really weird. Like they're like. Limp and then everything goes around, and then no, this no, no, guy no. just but looks at five three and then he gets yeah. caught up in something. <laughs> this is not like this isn't a real situation. I only had a call, and how yeah, yeah, I call two bigs and a limp pot, yeah. But bros in Disneyland playing five three. <laughs> <laughs> like... Welcome to Disneyland, Crack. Not that unreasonable, I don't think. I, yeah. I, I mean, surprise you when someone shows up with five three. That happens every day. I'm not surprised. Maybe my turn size is weak, right? I, yeah, I, I like about five there. I would we'll check back. Maybe it's uh, flop. But any any time he calls okay. when you've got quads, it's a good thing, right? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to call much more than pot, and I yeah, was lucky. I think I got this call. So this is how you uh, make the FT. You get quads, and then you get aces. 
Well, they're, they're filtered by by. I, I know. I'm just I'm trolling. Yeah. I like the big bet once it goes check check. So yeah, here I wanted to check raise. I think. Yeah, I, I like check raise. After it goes check check, I'm like, oh, okay. I, I'm gonna I think go in forward. soccer we can even go bigger. Maybe. Yeah, I think we could over bet in soccer. And then it goes eight, nine, ten. Mm. Mm, I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's not great. Right. Not a big bet, I think. Yeah, you shouldn't have king. You shouldn't have queen jack though if you bet yeah. big on the turn. Not a big bet. You just yeah. 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 I like how you play it. Like a five, we call. I'm I'm pretty like uh to Lewis's point. I don't think queen jack can call that turn bet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's too big. I could do. Someone lose. might. Someone might though. <laughs> Until they lose. Can you can you call? Cool, um, can you fold a pair there to a small pair? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean here. I mean, ask, it, ask, it, Ken, be... ask Ken if I can fold here. I mean, MDF's a thing. I know you like. Kenneth Keppel? Oh, he's not watching. What? Can you fold here on the flat? Yeah. Uh, I mean, oh, I, think fold, I think you can fold twos, dude. He's the, the, the power, the power of fuck it. One call, oh, one you can fold you can, twos. You can call a six. You can call an eight. Yeah, like, <laughs> like fives maybe. Fuck it. So, uh, what is this? Is this a hand history? It is. Of who? Is it your hand history from yesterday? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he he somebody, skipped some. He didn't bother somebody. Some. Somebody called it perfectly. Who I called think it Daddy perfectly? was talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good who, though. Who called what? <laughs> well, we were streaming some tables last night. You at guys the end. We had some deep me? runs. And a Danny bit. was like, we're probably going to do Louis's big score from yesterday. So it's good. Yeah, we just make fun of you, LP, when you're not a little, a, little, a little bit. Not too much. I probably best I, 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 I'm okay with this. I would probably, I mean, if I was really being nitpicky, I would lean small because you have the ace of clubs. But mm -hmm. I think I think this is fine. Probably with a flush for a board. I think it's on, a, a big board. on a queen ten board, I think you can bet large. Yeah, it's like I said, take it or leave it. It's nitpicky. Like you're talking minimal differences. See, bet I probably, I probably bet this, but like I think checks perfectly fine. I probably yeah, bet checks is. Cards for sure are borrowing, right? Diamonds probably the next most amount, and maybe the other one's less. Or it could be the opposite. I don't know. It suits. Raise here, ever? Mm. You're probably not checking back sets, though. I would so. like to raise there, though. Yeah, but uh, you're probably not checking back sets. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I hate how you play I think you played it fine. Yeah. You could uh, see that that flop. That could, but... man. I don't mind betting here either, to be honest. Oh, that's not good, man. No. I think you can so bet you... It's not like where that showdown. They got draws. I don't see Beth, and then I call this. Yeah, but it's curious. a three-way pot. It's not heads up. And yeah, not great, right? Yeah, I think it's a stretch for a three-way pot. Yeah. Uh, so Not closing the action and a person to act behind on a board like this, I would... Easy I don't fold, know, man. Yeah. I would probably fold. They I'm... could be betting hearts, but eh. Did we? Did we? We didn't call the turn, right? We just folded the turn. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, we did call the turn. We folded the river. I think. That's right. Hmm. But so the the, the correct play is to fold the turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so Ray, Ray's call. Look at this. Yeah. Check bet. So, I like small here. I think small, uh, yeah. it's going to be very difficult for him to continue, and you basically have yeah. the nuts. You shouldn't have any fools, cool, many fools cool out of position, and you block the ones he should have. Like ace four, uh, that's the only Maybe one he it's should have. ace four, king four. Yeah, so yeah but we have an ace. He shouldn't even have king four. Wait, Super he was... Huh? Is a good call. He was big... Small big blind? No, small, blind. small blind. Oh, small blind, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, uh, good. This guy... But yeah, call three flop. Not a fan of this call, but whatever, I did it. Why would you? Why would you three bet this? I think this is a great call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're forty. You're forty effective. You can't call a four bet. Like this is right in the the meaty part of the calls. 
Yeah. On the button, you don't even free bet that much, to be honest. Well, so I we get this. The big blind I leads and us. So we're like, yeah. First a hijack, I think suited nines. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I, I think you're right, Joey. I, I yeah. thought you wanted a three bet more with your offsuit stuff. Um, yeah. Around there. 40. Yeah, there's going to be some be more suited ones as well. So. Um, when you squeeze, it's more of the suited stuff, right? Yeah, it is. It is. You're right, Ken. If there had been one more call, it have made a pretty decent squeeze. Oh, he was already past the hand. I looked at it the hand after, I guess, because I'm loading something up and going back and forth. Beautiful. Well, you, free money up against Jacks. Oh, he's king. He's up against free money. Enjoy. He was so uh, happy on the free Jack a bit loose. Depends on the table. Did I Jack? see that here? This is a range bet board. With the queen? The uh, PK. Hold on, it's it the PKO as well, right? No. no. Oh, it's not? Just bet range. Vanilla. No PKO. This is it's range Betty. A... I would definitely yeah. range bet this. Any two. So... I mean, if you had a check in your range, I don't hate this as a as a check, but I, I don't know. I, I play I, I, I play range bet on King Queen. I, 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 play, I, play, I play range bet as well. Gotta be a range bet small. Especially yeah. against the big blind. Does the fact that he holds a heart makes any difference? It would make me more inclined to see that. Yeah, that's that's yeah, what we I can, thought. Uh, and we can call a check raise then. If we have hold heart, easier. Yes, that's right, uh -huh. Roger. Uh -huh. All right, so he leads pop on the thing. If you check the flop, this, I mean, it's like a very yeah. easy call. Th this is near, oh. that was near the oh. top of your You got a call range. there, dude. Louis, what, what better hands do you check? Anything pot like this? I'd probably just fold too. Dude, you call is... If you check flat you guys... and tap your range, you got a call. You guys I'm are insane out. if you're ever thinking about folding this hand if you check the flop. You check to protect the equity of this hand, not to just check fold it. Are you like, uh, there calling pot bets? There's oh absolutely with this. There's two flush draws available. He could be doing this with like ace Sunset. four of spades like there's all kinds of stuff i mean this is the you're supposed to bet big when it goes check check here as well you sh exactly well, on the double probably if, uh, if it turns a nine or an ace i probably would fall yeah we gotta run this one i mean <laughs> but we sort of put ourselves in a pickle here by checking yeah. back right the I, flop. I don't even I, think this is close i don't even think this is i don't like... think there's much to discuss here other than just <laughs> yeah, I think like... you missed a bet yeah yeah put it i mean i don't even i'm i'm kind of indifferent about that but like Talking about folding the turn seems crazy to me. Okay, zero yeah, percent check. Zero, zero point not. Yeah, it's like, that was okay. great. Okay. That great the <clears throat> and then zero percent fold on the turn. Yeah, okay. Look at the EV on the turn. It's got to be like huge. Yeah. We're, we're talking like five plus or something. It's got to be like a silly number. Plus, Rex, when you check, when you're supposed to bet a lot and you check, uh, that's when regs feel um, empowered to start bluffing, even mm -hmm. ones people that don't bluff that much. Yeah, you've capped yourself, and, right? Usually, and it's a double flush board, double flush draw board. Queen is, and like on this flop, what other hands are you checking, other than maybe pocket kings? I mean, even kings, I bet here. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. King King Jack of Hearts. I think there's yeah, there's no checking, right? So yeah, there's no checking. Yeah. Yeah. No checking and mostly big betting. Mm -hmm. Oh, is the flop that big? Oh, it is. It is all red. There's no Wait, green. On the flush draw. It's better than every. It's better than every size. Yeah, yeah, but close with it. Okay. Over bet with the aces. Wow. Yeah, I have a bit with the aces because you unblock. Yeah, it's bears. Okay, yeah. so we butchered that one. And Did that... you fold the turn? I feel like you you, you timed out because I know you don't miss a bet like that, honestly. Who knows? So on the turn, he goes five into five, right? So the if, yeah, the yeah, he found a he found a good bet. So give him like a uh, a fiver and see like. 
if you're even folding second pairs, you're going to have some second pairs in your range. You'd have to, right? Yeah, it's like you don't really have five. I mean, like ace five, you're calling. Queen jack. Ace queen, jack ace queen kind of indifferent, actually. That's kind of interesting. But you're, you're you're really just playing with fumes here. Yeah. But also with the double flush draw board, the ace high hearts and a lot of the bluffs are going to come from ace of hearts, ace of spades. That's yeah. probably why we might be folding some of those on the turn. Sure. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, and here is having hearts a good or bad, or it doesn't matter. I think front door flush draw stuff is probably going to be um, maybe better than the back door. I don't know what what you'd have to look at his big betting construction on the turn. I guess it's better. It's better to have a heart. Yeah. Okay, so I butchered that one. Oh yeah, dude. I hate earlier to fold. in the tournament the better. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. Imagine not playing perfect. Jeez. Oh, he was all in. Okay. Yeah, get he, flushed. I think it's four flushed. Uh, this is fold. Uh yeah, I'm folding this. A uh, pretty cool like what? Ace eight suited and ace nine? Ace nine. I'm gonna I'm going to look at the guy's HUD, and if I think he's jamming wide enough, I would call Ace-9. Is he from Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he is. Oh, no, it's just good. Just joke. This feels... Yeah, this is a tad loose. This feels like you're, like, miles wide pre-flop compared to, like, your, your turn, which was miles tighter. It's like yeah, two I different think... players. <laughs> Like yeah. maybe he was right. <laughs> <laughs> Two completely different players. Yeah. I think ace eight off suit plus. No, no, ace eight suited plus, ace nine off suit plus, and then like pocket fives plus on the pair side. It's twelve big blinds, man. Are you guys really folding? It's fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, Kitchen <laughs> over here. That's fourteen. <laughs> and it's from the high jet. Listen. Twenty five percent of your stack. Oh. All right, let's put it in chips real quick. How much of a starting stack is that? Is that like hey, not much? I'm not. Does it matter? It does matter. So this is the stacks. hang so, on. This is, this is the monster stack, right? So mm -hmm. it's 50. oh the monster. I, I I yeah I can't speak. No to no it. no. It might be yeah no. It's, it's fifty. Look at this. It's fifty or twenty five, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, it's fifty. So. This has got to be even. approaching. If it's fifty, this has got to be, I don't know, like a few levels from the end of registration. One thousand, two thousand, five hundred. Hmm, good question, right? What did it start with? You start with five hundred big blinds, or what? Two fifty big blinds, or? I think you only start with uh one hundred big blinds or something, uh, or two hundred big blinds. It they call it monster stack, but the blinds start pretty high. Uh, so. You guys are all, yeah, you guys yeah, bro. Are... I'm not. I'm definitely not it's calling cold. this. No, jeez, am I wrong? I guess that plus here. What is he hijack? Hijack. Yeah, it's just suited big oh. ways and better aces. I mean, and this is a balanced range. Like, I'm well, not going to give. Like... Let's look at the hijack jam range real quick, just I would... for. Uh... I would... For funsies, I was quite a bit off to be honest. And if it's getting near the end of the registration, you're closer to using a 50 percent ICM. Yeah, Joey, Joey's not wrong about that either. Now, look at this like, I, I don't know if I'm giving bro jack nine, nine, ten full frequency here. I mean, some players do find that, you know, I mean, he should be shoving the full, the, the small pairs here, like, and then obviously, there are some players who don't have a split range here they 
they just shove it or fold. That's kind of what's going on here. A what? A little thin of a call? Yeah, I'd call it wide. But you, uh, I mean, turned out all right. Or no, it did not turn out all right. You got, you got punished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a PKO too, so if the guy's anything more than a min bounty, you're really going to be incentivized to hunt. It's not a this PKO. Is oh no. Yeah, I like calling here. I I would pay attention to the fact that they open three X a little bit more. Yeah, this okay. I I, I, All I, right. I, I like your uh, I like your call gun? a little bit more now from earlier. What? Like maybe you had a read on this guy, like he was marked. <laughs> was that what? the same okay. guy? Yeah, then I said, I'm sure. Yeah, because he's doing some. This is that's kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> to each their own. Not the same guy. Oh, it's not the same guy. Okay. Oh, okay, that's. But he had four six. Yeah, I was like, yeah. why would he jab here? Well, he's not gonna win unless he bats. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a great jab. They almost had you though. Then they put a four out there. I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I will be screwed by GG. And then I saw six I was like, Ooh. in my case. Don't do it to me, GG. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> so somebody generously gave you back the stack you lost. Do you see that or not see that? Uh, super good board. board. You can with probably bottom, play check. With bottom pair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. would, you like to, would you like to bet it, Craig? No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm asking. Like, I don't think I, I don't think I would be betting with bottom pair. I think I would just be checking. I'm with you there. There are some textures where you do bet bottom pair, but this is really condensed. It merges very well with this call range, and your yeah. bet range. You want to bluff catch on the turn with bottom pair here, right? Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Pete. So it's just a tough spot. What a nice guy. Yeah, see, oh, it was okay. good check, nice. and you, and then you get him where he needs oh, to be got. Nice one. Yeah, if you don't check here on the flop, mm. yeah, because we we bet there on the flop, he probably raises us, and and then it's over. It's over. See, that small king I bore. Yeah, I like this. Mm -hmm. I could lose, never lose. Oh. I don't like the call. <laughs> what is he doing here? Like, do you really think he's jamming? Like, what, what, are you gonna do? what do you mean? Are you gonna fold 14? Bro, I'm, I'm folding twos and threes and maybe fours if he's got nitty stats. Okay, so what kind of equity your deuces have here? <clears throat> Verse uh, threes, fours, fives. Not Absolutely. Good, right? Nothing, but bro, I might, I might even fold this pre with the two reshot stats to yeah, avoid the spot, right, right Lewis? To, yeah, I mean, I've no, started folding two, board, threes, and fours in the cutoff. Like, we'll, near, we'll be near end of late reg at this point, right? It's just like it's just not that good anymore. And you're gonna have a lot of people in here. The these characters who think they can skip the line in the tournament, they show up last second of the tournament, and then they're like, "I'm just gonna." show up and uh <clears throat> you know make the money i don't i don't understand like why people would do that but you got to deal with those louis and deuce, deuces are just not going to hold up especially if there's them. any sort of risk premium we're going to hit a set here anyways on the flop so it doesn't really matter i think right he's going oh, okay, yeah. to get hard punished here yeah <laughs> Was well, it like even me last night when I folded fours in the cutoff when we we're at two tables? I'm just sort of like, yeah, just don't don't want to get jammed on. I just don't like those small pairs in the cutoff. Bro, you're gonna need a you're gonna need like a fifty percent field shot. I mean, you could look, at, yeah, but you could even look at uh the, the equilibrium one, and if it's like, I mean, it's gonna be in there. To 
in equilibrium it's going to be in there there's no way that no, it's not like, it's just but in practice like i don't think it's a, i don't i am never doing this but this is why lp is a lp All right, get get to the get to the conclusion of it. We've been lingering around the twos <laughs> the for a while. The conclusion is it if you play enough, you'll get lucky and bink something. Or just hold against Ace Queen, I guess. Ah. I mean he he had fifty five percent. Just at the buff. We're just lucky the board didn't pair. I'd be screaming Twice. in the Discord if I lost the deuces here. <laughs> I have me too. Let out the the Danielle. Weren't we cut off? Yeah, you're gonna have to make it deeper because you're just jamming small pairs from the cutoff. You maybe you can find an asymmetrical stack. I don't know. I don't I, even know I, if it's worth looking. I saw a bit where it was starting to fold when you get to like twenty bigs effect. Yeah, see, look, twenty twenty. It's not even raising. Yeah, I think fold pre is just the best play, to be honest, with the two reshops. Why are we still clicking around on two deuces here? <laughs> yeah, LP... fold or fold or uh, open. LP, are you uh, muted? I feel like my, he is. My mic was off. I've been talking mad shit. <laughs> I, okay, I like, start all over guys, again. Bucket, bucket deuce. I was like, bucket deuce. There's no one calling uh -huh. here. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm I can take it or leave it. I kind of like what Lewis said about folding it because you don't want to get jammed on. Or yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I do, I do weird shit sometimes. I, I'll limp this sometimes in these spots. So say it, limp it. If, if the guy's so three ball. batches above. Is above nine percent. This is fine. If the guy's three bet is below like seven percent, this is terrible. There you go. There you go. I agree. I agree. P. How deep are we in the tournament? You're not oh, gonna man. have stats on them. I don't think. We're twenty five hands deep. Bye, call. I thought it was a uh, fine call. C bet. Get called. I like the team. I like the C bet, and I am polarized. Well, you can't polarize. He's got no freaking chips. You got to check. Or you bet super small again. I don't know what the heck you do. Second. Uh, check okay. Out. See, if he was deeper, this is a spot where I might like triple off sometimes. I always bet the king for sure, and then the heart. Yeah. This is fine. Um, so we're just checking is, range here. This is a yeah. tricky one, man, because like his flatting range has like 8x smoked here. Like he, he's gonna have nines, tens, jacks in this, but you're mm, not gonna like this. I don't hate this. No, check I, range. Is I don't think people easy. flat nines against me, honestly. Well, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some people do, some people don't. I, I don't hate this, Louis. I, I mean, this is kind of whatever. Like, it's a vulnerable hand, and protecting your equity is probably yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the guy's a wreck and just call him with any nonsense, I think it's good to get protection. But if it's a strong range, I think just 
check range. And you could bet smaller because you have the backdoor flush draw. And now we're folding threes? Arnie. But the ace eight was more interesting than the deuces. You called a jam, but you folded a three bet. I'm joking. Just giving you a hard time. <laughs> threes are better than twos. He's three betting. <clears throat> you know, people never bluff when they three bet. By King I, we see that. Bet and take. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm not sure about this at all. Uh, I think it's a really good fold. Like, um... like this guy, I, I thought he was really wide. But okay. Even if he is wide, I mean, you have Jack 10. You're just going to get smoke there if you're not careful. Pocket Queens? That one? Uh, yeah, I would. You know. How do you approach this? You can, I think checking is probably better. But I like to mess around a little bit. I bet 2.5. Do you guys, how do you guys, how do you guys feel about four. like giving a, 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 clicky, a, a three, clicky three raise four. here? Did one they, like, did they, did, I'm sorry, I missed the action. You bet one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is probably fine. Then it's always the same line. You bet one, then you bet 80% pot, whether you hit or not. Why would you bet 80% pot? Yeah. What are they, uh, how are they going to continue with anything other than a queen here? And I you have a full I'm house, sure. like you, you have everything locked up, like, yeah, there's definitely a bet. There's definitely a bet like 40%. But that's more. Yeah. Like that. Well, you're genius if one of them's got a queen. Chat. I mean, bro, I would be betting like three big blinds. Here check. At yeah, most. I, th yeah, I think do a check. Like in general, you bet big on the double flush board, uh, the flush draw boards, but not when there's a full house. All right, well, you actually size all, down. Guys. I don't know about that. I still feel like it's over. It's at least over half pot. I think. Maybe I'm crazy, huh? right? But this is a a loop that I will go through every time. I will bet one every time, whether I have it or not. Here. And then on the turn, I will bet 80% pot whether I have it or not. Because when they call the one, they cap themselves. They never have a queen. They never have release on anything good. They just call. And then here right, is so to release. So I just 80% every well, time. You, 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 you just walk through it. it. You just walk through what? it perfectly. They've capped themselves. They don't have anything. The words came out of your mouth. Yeah. And you have a full house. And there's yeah. two flush draws. Yeah. So, this is multi way. That's the only reason yeah. why I would strike. I don't think you have to really go 80% three handed. But I, I do it when far. I have it because I do it when I don't have it every time. So yeah. you're leveling yourself because you're believing this fairy tale that you have to be balanced against some guy that you're probably never going to play again with. I don't have to be balanced here. It's just my line. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the reason when you say that you do it with your trash, you do it with your value too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the simplification in my game. I'll have 20 tables here. I'll do it 20 times. No problem. You know? yeah. It's yeah. a disaster if we get it's two just folds here, program. Right? It's a disaster. Yeah, sure. it, it's, no, no, it's no, 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 Arnie. Most of the time here, I'll have nothing. Like three-handed, you're going to you're gonna double it? You're going to do this multi-way when you get called twice? It's just a, a scenario where I start from a pair board. I bet Heads one. up, it makes sense to me. It's the not same. Way. It's, it's the not same. the same. I'm just a little bit reckless. But you I have to look what's the I do it the way the same as if I'm heads up. Oh, so you're low. Oh. I just think if the guy's well, got well, ace, if, if the guy's got ace four of diamonds here, like, uh, and you throw like nine big blinds and he's in, and you're ending the near of registration, the guy's got 30 bigs almost. He can coast in the money in his mind. Yeah. Like, uh, I just kind of would want to put like his value portions that are non queens in a more difficult spot, I guess. Yeah, but all I'm, all I'm saying is, I want them to release most of the time. Now it's multi way, so it's most like more likely maybe someone has a little something. Then in the majority of the cases, I'm here with nothing. But hold on a second. This did this three seven. O guy open or did it limp? The check to you on the flop. Yeah, yes, it was checked to Louis on the flop. 
I'm not even sure which much to bet. He bet one. I think betting one on a board like this is pretty pretty good. I think it's fine. Get, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of clean, honest information back. It's hard they're to defend to on. Fold. They're not. They shouldn't yeah. fold anything hardly. Well, they're not solvers. Right. So yeah. bet nine. He puts it in. Call. Oh. Pull up oh, DTO. We know our job. So he puts it in with King Ten of Diamonds. Why do you want to see DTO King? I don't think you have a one big blind bet here, honestly. Does DTO have one big blind as an input? I don't know. It does not. Oh, it, it will have a small bet. You think? Yeah. Why would you do yeah. anything other than a small bet here on well, like a paired queen board with a deuce? Like if you want to look at theory of tomorrow, you probably need us. No sense to look at this because this really I don't think she checked through, right? Uh, I don't know. Free, the free flop razor could check. The guy in the sandwich can check. It, it should check to Louis Affair. Yeah, I, I was thinking like it seems pretty typical to check. Forty percent, thirty percent. Forty percent what? Checks, 20, 30% checks, 25, 30%, something for like that. For this hand? No, for the opener. Um, No, like it's, he's multi-way out of position on a flush draw board. The flush draw board is going to drive up his checking frequency. Because when you get flatted twice behind, the people are more flush draw oriented. Yeah. Mm. So, so, I got it in, I won. So do you think the guy with 27 and a half big blinds puts his chips in with a uh, naked king high flush draw there? I don't know. I'd, I mean, be, interested, I, I'd be interested to see because like I'm not I would bet that flop a lot and I might be wrong. So I, think that I don't this really guy, care what LP's doing here. I'm kind of curious what we do from the other spot. I think this guy got induced here because I don't see a good reason to put it in with King Ton of Diamonds here. You might just have a queen. Just a queen that checks. No. Twenty percent draw, like uh, like he has nothing, okay, right? Because I mean, he knows could. that he knows that you're blasting on this paired board. You're up to no good, like eighty percent of the time. Exactly. I check the queen there for sure. He's like queen. king check high is a value call. Exactly, and he's <laughs> he might be trying to make me fold here. I know it looks weird. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what are you talking about? So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's gonna make you he's gonna make you fold for uh three extra chips. <laughs> he was joking, pun in cheek. What do you guys think he's doing with King Ten of Diamonds here? He's uh, off he his should mind. be folding. He's off his mind. He's just like uh, he's not falling for my BS here, is what he's saying. He's yeah. like, here. They love to raise me on the turn. Usually it works though. Anyway. Guys, we're too tight with that nine nine hand. By the way, it's gonna jam. What nine nine hand? Oh, you're supposed to jam. Yeah. This is nine nine. Uh, can you send me the range? Still running. I'll wait till it's done. Okay. Eight. Okay. Mix. Seven's even mix. Six is even mix. But they're like little. Like six is a slower. Seven's more. Eights even more. Nines are almost full. And then tens are full. What do you do here? Are we full? Man. Actually, I mean, uh, probably just call here. Actually, the nineteen this... guy's got nothing right. Wait, you you open under the gun. You get flatted by under the gun one, and the button jams for twenty. This is probably like the best hand I'm folding. I think. Yeah. You fed the bottom of the color range ace queen offsuit or jam... ace queen suited. I'm gonna call ace queen. I think I'm not loving it though. What's the, the jam range? Well, eight plus ace jack suited plus maybe ace jack uh, if he's splashing. Calling or folding? Because you got this guy to worry about. Them. No, yeah, no, it's, range. it's the same stack, basically. I would re jam or fold. Yeah, I like folding personally. So you say nip? I'm going nip. I mean, Louis's not going to fold, is he? Not folding the suit. Oh, wow. He calls up the deuces. But There's folds. only one reason why I fold it. <laughs> I love that line. He goes up the deuces and he folds this. Really, if you don't have that flatter under the gun, one, are you calling? Let's see. So I don't that's think a, they protect their flatting range. 
I, I think people in 25 hour buy-ins for the most part aren't flatting big pairs. Okay. Uh, I think I know what's going on here. They're not flatting ace king enough. They're not flatting well, ace queen enough. So here I open under the gun, right? And he calls. So that's already two pretty strong ranges, right? Yeah. Then he jumps. The person, yeah. Okay. So when he jumps into under the gun open, I think he's pretty strong. He's not afraid of ace jack. It could be a pair of lot ten stuff like that. Jacks, queens, kings, okay. ace king, ace queen, maybe. I like this. I was gonna think. I thought you were gonna jam it, but I I like that line a lot more because you still get value from his polar components that are gonna limp jam sometimes. Okay. I like this. This is good. I probably just checked that to be honest, but. I like this. This is good. Uh, okay. I'm putting yeah, my you chips have to. in. You have to. I'm pretty sure I am as well. What's what stage? You could look at the chips I, and I can only estimate. imagine this folding with like high ICM. I guess that's a good point, man. If you are approaching like the stone bubble, maybe I do mm. fold, but I think it's fine. In most cases, that's good. Ace four, that's that was fun. neat. Um, yeah, cool. cool. I well, it, it, again, if it's near the bubble, I'm never calling this. But if it's like post bubble, it's not post yeah. bubble, I think. He's jamming well, any suit of days, man. So how many? That's seven point five big blinds, and how many chips does that equate to? If we know a starting stack is so, 50K. If, he's, if some people jam their ace x way too wide here, if he's jamming all suited aces and a ton oh, of all suits, aces worse than ace 10, it's an easy call, I think. If he's jamming like ace 5 0, ace 6 0, ace 7 0, all the suited aces, it's just an this, easy is, call. Uh, this has got to be post money. It's got to be post money. He has a he has like um. At least two starting stacks, and it's seven point five. Yeah, maybe you can see it. No, nope, you got to hit the other tab to see it. You need that info button. Maybe they've put it up for next week. Maybe if you let's see if we can scroll to next Sunday. They probably haven't though. I don't have my sign in building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see if I can do it. I'll see if I can do it. Right. So you guys calling or folding that ace then? Because I don't know, man. I'm I, I'd, I'd probably fold ace nine. I'm calling this. I think well, it, it's on the stage. Oh, this is a this is a look at his HUD situation for me. Yeah, but uh, same. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna call this a lot. So Sunday monster stack. Ooh, I like the I like, like the flat. Are you I not three betting H jack all there? Uh, from the small blind? No, no, no. I'm well, never flying here, man. I like to call a lot there now too. I, I used to three bet that almost all the time. Now I just like to see flops. I think jamming's I okay, and I think calling's okay. What about three bet not a win? Yeah, I could do that too well, for nice. Twenty-five big blind, not great. Uh, uh, if he jams, then you have to call it off. So. Yeah, like. You, then you, you have to jam it. instead. Are you dead? What? Hey, uh, looking at it, it is uh, 30,000 chips looks to be about a starting stack in the monster stack. Oh, you got mind. You like that's what happens. Ah, but click, click it back. We're very religious here, and we, we all believe in the church. The church. Yeah, it would just it's oh my god, yeah. Oh, we fall. Yep, he was getting alive. There's no playing games with Ace King. Yeah, that's back. I just I don't know how. It doesn't matter. You're gonna go there. anyway. So like he's, he doesn't have any three Can't bets there. Maybe it was a misclick. No, somebody is <laughs> teaching that. <laughs> somebody is teaching like when you open to two, they make it three big blind free flop. I thought Bert says that was good. Somebody's teaching in, that. In the street. Uh, I don't know who's what they're up to. No, I think he was. Uh, maybe a Brazilian stake or something. I what do you guys do here? To you to click it back after he, he. We open King 10. 
We get three back falling. to the big line. Well, this might be a fold, you know. I am, I'm falling I'm, out. I'm out. Now, the guy's free bit from the big blind against eat like what? Against low jack? I don't know. He's yeah. only be free betting like 5% of hand so. It's probably going to be a fold for me, dog. King Jack suited, though. You have to call. I might call it. it depending You're on a box of me, call. Lewis. I'll fold that, too. And you won't say none about it. What about... <laughs> I'll say it's not the GTO play. I, I'm what pretty about sure... this one, boss? Pretty sure it's just rip, right? I ripped No, mid race. Mid race. Mm. Mid race! Woo! No, I think the ace is rip. You want to take no, this no. offsuit trash post flop? How dare you? At twenty big blinds for rip? Yeah, uh, uh, I don't it's, think probably, so. it's probably it's hmm. probably okay. It may it may jam the suited ones over the offsuit ones. Seventeen effective. Cool. I like calling the best pair flops up from the big blind LP. Twenty big blinds have a chance. Right. Amazing, but he's betting one, so he's super capped. <laughs> yeah, he's been one of his whole range here. Yeah. Yeah, what, the, what the hell does he have? He either beats me or I'm miles ahead. Hey, uh, who knows what he has? Kings, queens, jacks, and make it three or four. He's going to have to call one. Well, here, if he Ooh. now here, if he has yeah, like ace king, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take everything, right? And no sense in raising now, right? You got a full house. No, I like this. The raise swap and check back time. No Can reason to raise here, but here, I think it's. Oh, you raise right, swap, so... check turn, and then he thinks you're you're full of shit, and you get all his chips. Yeah. So if you check raise flop, Ken, and he continues, what are you beating? Yeah, nothing. Oh, he's gonna have to when he bets one big line and you raise, he's got to continue with his under pairs. Yeah, but people are just gonna call people me with don't a six. All right. Yeah, I'm people. I do. I'm gonna be like, all right, I got a call. Well, you're you're becoming an exception, Ken, because you study the game. A hell of an exception, yes. Well, just <laughs> move his bluffs. In, 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 a, in a good way. Bench. I'm not saying that in, <laughs> in, in a bad way. way. <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes not. Uh, I agree. Now you get uh, just check call and maybe take like a, a donk line, like block donk small. No, no, I, no, no, no. Look at this. Jab. This check here. This check here took all my discipline. All right, so all right. <laughs> this check here this. is years in the making. Why would you check here and not donk small? Because I'm trying to do the gallon smart check on the river type of thing. He doesn't have any buffs, man. But the donk. Part. He's gonna check back. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, but he's not gonna call either, though, too, right? But it, no, if you bet small, he's gonna have some bluffs in that node. That's why I kind of like donking. Okay, so if well, he's the got same an ace, people, the only people, the same people that are going to have bluffs when we check here are going to call a small raise on the flop with decent hands. Like they got to call. He's got to call. Like when when he c bets this and you go to like three, he's probably got to call two overs to the seven and about and the flush <laughs> draw. Like the theory land, he's probably got to defend that hand to a raise. What do we do here? Call a raise. I think mostly free bet, but cool's fine. Uh okay, so if you call and small blind jams and then the initial opener jams, how do you handle that? I don't need to be there, honestly. Well, if you don't have a great answer for that, I think maybe three betting it's better. I do, I do. I'm I'm not gonna continue if whatever you said happens. Oh, you're gonna actually fold that? See, man, I would have a hard time there because I've presented this is like one of the best hands that you flat here. Yeah. But pocket tens are gonna struggle against two uncapped ranges, right? Yeah, I guess it's just how uncapped is it really if the guy's got seven big blinds and the other one I don't know, he's still gonna have like nines there sometimes that he might ISO into your flat. I don't know, it's it's kind of interesting, I guess. What do you say here? Hi Jack Jam, I'm going to fold. Mm. No, 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 cool, cool. Dude, I'm not calling this. I'm indifferent, depending on the duck ball. Are we in the money uh, with that uh, with that ace four hand? I was just wondering. I think so. Okay. Now, now here I fold because there's two players left to act. It's Bro, this is, nuts. this is 
This is nuts. You want to call that other one, but you're going to fold this one? Mm -hmm. I would be more inclined to call here, but I still I, think. <laughs> I, I, I would have to give the respect, unfortunately, and I would probably end up folding here. I mean, he, he's shoving. He's selling ace game. violence, man. Yeah. And we can just, we just got a little, little bit better of a pip. It's awesome. What is this? Louis' uh, run hey, from hey. yesterday. No, like, what is this three bet? What's wrong with it? <laughs> is that just a jam? So it's, we just want to put it in? I don't think this is bad. Yeah. It's probably, I mean, if I was going to nitpick it, I would say I would make it like 5.2 or something. But yeah, so either size down or jam. The sizing is, does it make sense? I'm not in too well for giving people the that. I'm sorry. I'd size down here as well. I would well, jam because we're going to get hunted pretty wide. Straight flush, you lose. Good game. What? He, he docks? Wow. Just a punt. This no, is how think, you guys win uh, tournaments, okay? This is no, how you win pro, tournaments. To, to be fair, he probably doesn't have any any flushes, right? Where he free bets micro. Call? Like why would he know, call the, from here? Easy even, fold if you're even pre flop, you're off twenty, you're three bending. I mean you should probably just be folding the King Jack. Yeah. Why did you? I thought your motion was one big blind and then big on the turn on any paired board. I thought that was just what you always do. Yeah, but not in three bet box. Oh, I was a three bet pot. Yeah. Sorry. Could jam here. Could free bet. Could flat. That's not one big blind. No, it's small. But this board is like flush draw. You know, it's not a regular pair of board, right? Connected high card flush draw, it has range advantage. So, like, I, 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 I think this is completely fine. I think it's fine too. I'm just breaking the stones because he says his motion is on a pair of board. He bet one big blind on the flop, then 80% on the turn. That's small on the flop. Yeah. I like the size and size so up on the chair. turn. See, Get very your balls broken. So what'd you do on the turn there? You bet like Lucho Size Grande? Ah. No. Seven and two thirteen. This is good. I like this. I think this is just I think this is fine. There's two flush draws, so and you didn't go too big. I think this is good. He just didn't have anything to continue with. Yeah, this is definitely the best. Ace Jack, small bet. Or you oh, can I size like up. Oh, like uh, I don't think this is a small bet spot. You definitely SPR, can have small bets look, here. Yeah, if you look at it, SPR, maybe, right? But Ace, Jack, Flush Draw. Yeah, I, I like, I like the bigger range. bet. You can I, do either. Fine. I'll, I'll bet big a lot. Turn a like bet. What's he calling? I mean, yeah, he's, he's got a dock in you, right? Three uh, streets. Now he's going to fold. Yeah, he got that. Nope. He's got a worse ace, I guess. Yeah, worth it. Yeah, so I went really thin here. That's a bad combo to cool down with because you block queen, queen ten, which is the obvious bluff. Yeah, I bet almost pot here. He calls. My you can't block my ten, I don't think though. It was like no club. Come on, no club. And then yeah, no club. Whew. Yeah, it's probably just his best ace that he doesn't three bet, right? Yeah. You do what you do, check, check one. Yeah. Okay, he raised. Yeah, this is yeah, this is fine. I th I was just making sure you weren't the button. You bet you bet Paul. Well, thing is, I wanted to do something here, but I'm I'm the caller out of position from the small blind. I have to check flop. It goes check check. After it goes check check on the flop, I hit. I want to polarize, and he has twelve. There's six in the mid. I bet six, no. thinking he's gonna shove, you know. No, no, no. But he. I mean, this is uh, this is effectively. Yeah, that is weird. I was like, this is effectively jamming. Yeah. I would. 
That's what I'm expecting him to do, but <laughs> no. Yeah, that, that's smooth to get cool. He just goes like, like, oh, sick. How about sick? And I'm like, okay. Well, I kind of like where Lewis is at. King yeah, I kind of like where Lewis is he at. Based I King think in. I would get a little smaller. And then I'm like trying to put him in, and he's like, nah, bro. No, 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 no. What do you have? Okay. okay. That is really okay. weird that he actually found a fold there. Yeah. And he's still here. So this is a tricky one, right? I don't like this board. Locked up equity. I want a bit big. I mean, he does have five, six. I don't have a spade, and I could be betting big right into something better than me. Right? It's I low. Think, it's low I connected, think, uh, so you bet big. If I, I mean, have I aces here, am I not one. supposed to check a lot? Bet 55%. Anyhow, it's in my mind... Big. In my mind, it's a bad business spot. It really is. So I bet big. You mm, just I think this is mind. too big, but I think you played it okay, Louis. Bet sixty percent. Like, you bet like what eighty percent? Easy call. Mm, no lips good. I would raise. I think limping's fine though. You're getting uh, kind of uh, deep, aren't you? Yes. So Would you yeah. raise in a non-PKO? Yeah. I'm just going to play my blockers. I think King 2-0 is like a pure limp. Uh, what the fuck? You only get one street of value, Louis? This is not PKO. Yeah, this guy was a Brazilian, and he was supposed to be aggressive. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Fair wait. Enough. This is a non-PKO? Yeah. It's not. It's not a PKO. I think you have oh. to bet the turn, though, man. You yeah. have to bet the turn here. Yeah. But so what you do? You went. You went check, check, check. No, he bet check. Cool. I bet one. He calls, and then I do as if I shut down. So I check. Ah, uh, dude, this is uh This feels like fancy play syndrome. Yeah. I mean, if the play is aggressive, though, it's, what should it's I fine, do here? Just bet flop, size up. He doesn't. He doesn't really have ten x. I mean. I should just bet four. I would bet three, three and a half, four, something like that. Okay, okay. Def I, I went. There you go, Gio. And then on the river, I was like, oh my God, now I'm just like, bah. Galen, you don't play that balance, do you? You just like bet your good hands. I mean, King Deuce off raising pre flop is, uh, I don't know, it's pretty polar. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's some spots. I, I'm just not in the business of waiting for other people to bet for me. Yeah. Uh, um, this was this feels kind of bad, man. Yeah. This is like the worst you call or the best you fold. Yeah. We're not really deep. Dude, this is a already. snap fold. Yeah, I'm folding that. I mean, if you were like 100 deep... <laughs> Is this Louis run or what are we looking at? Yeah, it's Louis. LP, do you call this instead of nines? It's a magical nine. Well, I'll Oops. be in position throughout the hand here. Right? And then it depends on his three bad stats. If he has eight or more, uh, say nine or more, I might call. But if he has God, like Mickey, four or less, I'm never going. Yeah, I'm so, but he I mean, makes it ten. The guy opens off twenty-seven. He makes it ten. It's like yeah. so committing. Yeah, yeah, I would fold here, but I think you got to look at his squeeze stat, not his three bet stat. Yeah. No, this is just an easy fold. I. Yeah. Now you're screwed. Oh man, you've made your bed. You're in for at least another another street now. Okay, I, I'm I'm feeling a little more optimistic. He checks. I feel like you have the best hand here a lot. I I'm checking and praying for a card less. Uh, Jack's never, okay. I might have a jab for protection. Do it. No. Check it down. Protection. Lewis, are you kidding? The protection Wait, jam. I'm all Galen, right. why do you think he doesn't have good hands though when he checks? I mean, he is going to have some good hands, but I'm. He, his range is going to start leaning towards uh, weaker He's king. hands. Honestly, He's jam king. flop could be a thing. I don't know. But I think okay. this guy always has it. All right, well, we lucked out. 
<laughs> Jam flop seems like a reasonable play, though. I don't know. Once we Has get it? there. No. You fold up the gloves and get cooled by better. Look at the SPR, man. The SPR is like one. Like, you just, you have sevens on an 8-8-6 eight, eight, board. Like, what are you going to call well, flop the SPR and fold a deuce one. turn? Like, it was ever mm -hmm. one on the flop. Because he bet like five on the flop, so it was like one and a half on the flop. What does jamming do with sevens? It folds yeah, out his queen. Uh, you never, don't want him to. It, it lets your opponent you, play you, perfectly. You really, they it doesn't matter. Well, when you're crush, it doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because the SPR is one. It's a pub to jam it. Yeah. No, it's not, dude. We're no, either going not. with it or we're not. Like, I mean, um, I don't know. I think it's reasonable. I'm not saying I would do it, but like, I would never be here. Once we're here post flop, oh. like, just a call. You keep the rest in. I don't know. All right. See, and well. then, but then you're gonna fold to a turn jam. Yeah. So what's the point of quote unquote keeping the bluffs in? You're gonna fold. You're gonna get bluffed. Uh, you're gonna fold. He... <laughs> if he press on the bell, you know. Okay, but do you see how I feel? This is logically inconsistent. If we want to keep the bluffs in, but then we're gonna fold anyway, then 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 we're getting because no, he's gonna like... shut down with some of them, right? Well, the thing is, Danny here. I don't if he's gonna shut fold. down, then he'll fold to a jam. I don't Throw always it. fold. That's my problem here. All right, I, I think forward. it's worth exploring this further. Yeah, I, don't know. I wouldn't. Well, what is he? What's he calling? He's he's probably gonna call us ace king, ace queen on the flop if we jam, right? No, it's just fold. Look, I don't know. Good. It puts him in a world of hurt. <laughs> Unless they have a flush draw, they need to call. But if I'm him and I have ace king there, I might spite it off and like just. Pick you want to see your full equity? Fofo. I want to see five cards. I want you know maybe he's got some heart draw occasionally. Can we look at the sevens and a solver instead of just going by it when there's still as much discussion about it? You want to see sevens? There's a few hands I wanted to see already. I could look at it. I'll try and find. I think it. that's a. I think that's a fold three after he three. We're gonna bets. have to. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna have to slide up. A oh, few you want to jam or you are you gonna fold? Three jammer. Yeah, you're never gonna call. I think. Yeah, it's not going to solve it post flop because of his multi way here. But if you just enter it, it, it doesn't go multi way. It doesn't go multi way post flop. Just ignore the other guy and look at the post flop situation that's of interest. Mm -hmm. So, like, ignore the initial opener and just put like the worst pair in there you can. But it never works for me. All right, we do actually have some uh, sevens in range. The here. squeeze range is way different than his three bet range. Five or close. Do you, does it change how you play eight eight six with a pair of sevens? That, I mean, I don't care. The ranges are dramatically different. So, I mean, are you playing sevens on eight eight six differently in a heads up pot than you are from a squeeze pot? It has the, the solve. I'm yeah, I'm saying it's why? Fine. why what, it has the solve. Like, it. The problem is this squeeze rate. It's yeah. a pure jam, by the way. This squeeze range is like tens plus or something there. Some suit. okay, well, run, run it as is, like <laughs> it goes heads I up feel to the block. Very vindicated. <laughs> I'm putting it in chat. If I can. Hold on. Under the you gun, one it. open, cut off call, small blind three bet. You might have to look at it at like 35 to get the yeah. Can we say if we click here, we have a solution. Yeah, there you go. Ram it in. All right. 35%. What's our jamming range look like? Um, sevens, nines, uh, king ten hearts, ace king, ace jack, ace ten sub, ace Some nine jacks. sub. Yeah, this is small blinds range, so bet small. Oh, that's their range. Yeah, give them the the quarter pot. So all pairs mixing. One day seven of heart to jam. It's not a bad chippy V solution. 
Yeah, I think if you go out there and do that whenever you're deep in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> can you I guess, like, oh, there, there's no the, po my, the point I'm trying to make here is, like, you can fold preflop. But if you're gonna not fold preflop, then you kind of made your bed, and you're like, yeah, "All right, well, we get this, we get this board. All right, here we go." No, no, no. Why would you say that, Danny? Why would you think that's a, the right, the right thing to do? Sure, it jumps here because that's how poker works. When you call, when you just call preflop, you're hoping he has overs, right? Like, yeah. So it's like you get the flop with no overs. So at that point, it's like, all right, we're either. So now it's like you have the best flop you're going to get, right? Like you're not, that's the best flop you hope for. So now you probably just want to go for it when it's the SPR is, the SPR is one. Yeah, well, it's not a bad flop, right? So I call and then, no, it's just check, 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 easy line. Right, because if he's got nines, tens, jacks, he's probably going to want to get more protection, right? So it'll be a bit bigger. Right, and then I guess the only thing we're worried about if he's betting so small, if maybe if so he's got the, the big big pairs, you can mix. Uh, but I don't think jamming is good for deep later stages. If, if you do it at the beginning of the uh, like level three of the game, I think mm -hmm. it's the best play. It could be, but at this point, I'm not sure. Fair enough. This one was tricky. I guess all of us see a white jam as a blow. Throw it all in. It, I see him fold instead of the gun, just fold. Yeah. We got a good block. It's, uh, yeah. the... Is this him not a call at ICM with this sort of stack distribution? Like this one here, this one here, uh, this one here. Like this guy's in trouble. I'd rather like micro jam. three bet. And then if we make a pair, it's like I would like to micro three bet, but he's too short and it's not suited. Yeah. So I it, think at call. this point if, if you play this, uh, you can shove. Suited you yeah. jam. I think shove. Well, I went with the call, it wasn't great. I just folded. Eat shove. Like I I hate shove. I would fold or make it four and a half. I I I don't really like any of the options except for fold. To be yeah, look, why are we going through all these interesting hands? <laughs> what about this one? This one's not interesting. But the gas right. pedal press. All right, I'll look it up. This is a trivial call or click. Either I mean, it's the same thing effectively. I mean, it's like everyone's six down less. Wow. Can we, can we scan? Nice hand. You call. Nice. You gotta call the rest. Good job. Um, I just fold. Oh, check. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Probably just a bet. Well, we have Next. second pair. That's fine. Like and like, small. I feel like King X is the biggest part of his defense here because mm -hmm. he should be very aggressive with his aces, right? Yeah, but he's defended all sort of nonsense. Like, we want him to fold Queen Jack. Well, it's ICM, right? And then... Yeah, it still should be fairly wide cooling from this stack size versus the late position open. You guys say it's a range bet here or no? Yeah, range bet. Range bet? Yeah. I'm going to be a little more precautious here just because he's going to have a lot of check jams. And I don't he want doesn't to have ace king. Equity. He doesn't have pocket eights. He doesn't have kings. What do you do facing a jam, with You abandon your A or you call it off? Facing a jam, it depends on the opponent. But this answer the question, Lewis. <laughs> I think he should have jams anyway. He should have micro free beds. Lee Lewis doesn't want to answer. Okay, so not not a, a, a check here. I should be. Better. Lewis doesn't want the jam. Yeah. Okay. I should bet one. But we have the ace now. So with the ace, everything is good now, right? Yep. Oh, no. What's going on? Maybe not. <laughs> Word. So he calls. So we're like, ah. He checks. What do we do? Yeah. Check. All right. Check behind. Put him in the box. 
Yeah. No, bro, you check you and probably. lose. Check and lose. Yeah, check and lose. All right. Great idea. Can you can plan? Yeah, that's fine. Ace hey, Jack? Yeah, that's fine. King Yai? King Queen yeah. always jamming, by the way. Mm hmm. It's jamming. ICM? No, it, I'm looking at ICM 25% of the field. It's never jamming. Oh, never jamming. Okay. You oh, it, I does, it, jam it, off. it does three bet some um, to five. So... Is it cooling or folding? Nice. What do you guys do here? Uh, hey, Nick, is, it, is it three bet or fold or is it three bet? Three bet, call? Three bet to indu induce. Where are, we in the, where are we in the tournament? In three bet indeed. call, but it's, it's only winning 0. 0.001 big blinds. Okay. It doesn't mix folding though? No. Interesting. All right. Ace Jack O though is like almost a pure fold. Oh. Interesting. That's more dominant. A big stack at the table and it's the cutoff. He's pretty late position. We're going to be aggressive with this end. I mean, if it's on the bubble, I just flat. If it's oh. not on the bubble, so I free bet to like, this, this is like final table bubble. Mm -hmm. so then this is a call, man. Yeah, cool. Uh, jam. Six and a half for jam, probably. I only uh, heard one answer that I like. I, no, I, think I don't we like call. Torch. I think we call. 30 big blinds. You're not, I don't think you have any jams on the table bubble for 30 big blinds. See, you do. Yeah. You I would think, be very surprised. I think being well, money and driving. Do. I'm thinking right, I'm the like if he, if he calls and loses, like, that's... that's and. This yeah, guy? It's too much. It's too much Arnie, to jam, Arnie, this guy? You, you don't know him. You know, he could... <laughs> just... You don't know him like I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like this guy could be batshit crazy. You know? Maybe he didn't... Just have just have eight eight eight, you know? Arnie, we spent all night last night together. You don't know him like I do. Uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Nines is almost a pure jam. Ten jam, some, but mostly three bets. Never calls. Okay. Give him the business, bubble. Nick. Give him the you business, get the Nick. Can we see, Can the, see uh, the range? Configuration the final table at? bubble range. What? Because I thought the risk premium is like incredibly high, and we don't want to play big pot versus another big stack. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at final table. Oh. S we just got difference. such a pretty hand, right? Yeah. All right. So, All right. We're, so Louis, are we calling here, I guess, eh? <laughs> What do you think? Wait, even on the final I think table, you're jabbing, uh, Louis. You think I'm going to go all in here? Louis, teach these nits a lesson. Jam it in, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jabbing here. I'm jam jabbing. it in. Jam it in. But I've been hurt. I've been hurt too, man. I've been hurt. It's time, it's time for us we're, to We're do going for the win. No, no, no. For the win. I'm sorry. Please the trauma, man. Please the trauma. This guy? Um, final two tables, tens is a pure jam. Oh my. Easy. Goodness. Which, well, which solver are you range? looking at, Nick? Can we see this? I'm looking at final two tables. Button has 50, big blinds, big blind has 30. And everybody average else has is. time stacks. You're no. second at the table. There's no way. Yeah, we average stack is crucial here, I think. It's, um, I'm guessing, Louis, you're going to go. We're like not going to find one. There, there, do you know what average stack was, Louis? Do you know what the other table looked like at all? Mm, I think it was very similar to this. So like 20, 25? Yeah, and I'm saying final um, two tables, but it could be final three tables as well. If it's final three tables, it's a trivial jam. Don't disappoint me, Louis. Put the chips in the middle. <laughs> He's going to fold. I guarantee you, I never jammed it. I'm the one who jams. Because uh -huh. I've been hurt. You know? Did you fold? Don't tell me you folded. I ain't folding. I... Okay. okay. I ain't no, there's playing. no way Louis is folding. I ain't playing. Yeah. Right? You no, should I like mean... mix jam or raise on three tables. Our no. stack is around 38 pigs. Now maybe. So we've looked at three different ICM solves. They all had jamming. Two, like... five, <laughs> five, two, five, six, seven. Recall. I don't know why I'm actually pretty surprised that on the I'm FT right. you're inducing this. I do wrong. I like, I like, I I like the raise. All here. I like the check raise. Gotta get money in the pot somehow. Yep. Yeah. I bet I like, like six. Don't check. Bet very small. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, bet. hold on. Check. What do you guys? What do you guys think our check raise range is doing here? Checking. 
checking a ton. The yeah, five is so bad for a check raise range. Yeah, it's gonna check. I'm not saying it's not gonna be polar, but I mean, if you have a is bet, it? name Isn't a better our check bet. check raise range two pair, and we make a boat on a five. So the five Except is really bad for. Pair. When we check raise the five is really bad for our range because we have less sets and two pairs by mm. a large amount. True. So just check range. You're supposed to check a lot. I I don't know how much more you're checking, but like, it's just such a bad card for your check raise range. I normally range check in these spots. Yeah, okay, five, that makes sense. Our Queen king four five, of clubs bluff with pocket ten. When you, when you check raise in the full house, you make the full house. You often do a lot of checking. It's also because this about time. turn card is a rainbow, so all of our bluffs don't pick up equity. So, so many of our bluffs have to check here that our value has to check. And he actually has more fives than us. Like he has ace five suited. We're not really check raising any five x. More five fives than the big blind. No, but we have um, queen five and some ten five probably. Oh, well, we have like it feels like we're a bunch of monkeys throwing shit at the wall right now. Pull up a solve, somebody. So we can I mean, see we can't, some... Dude, we're we've not, looked we're at not these ICM solves the last two weeks. We've, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. No, no, no. I'm just, we... but I'm just saying, like, the general general motion of how you're playing this, like, check raise five oh, sure. pairing situation. That's that's what I'm referring to. I'm not talking All about right. besides that. But it's different because with the risk premium this high, our check raise range is, like, king four of clubs and then queen ten, queen five. It's literally like two pair and a random bluff. And we call everything else. And sets, sorry, sets as well. Yeah, you just gotta look at the range. It doesn't exist. You're just gonna have to look at the range, not the actual hand that you have because of that. I just told you the range. What do you mean? I'm, I'm wanting to look it's at how it's... It's thin. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, I want right, to see how it... I want to see how the range responds when you put a five on the turn after you check raise in general here. All right. In chip EV with a completely different check raising range. Yeah, you're not check raising yeah. different like hand constructions. Like it's still check raising the same types of hands. You're right. The range is going to look, the range morphology is a little different. All right. I, okay. I think we're talking past each other here. No, we might be. Because we might you be. guys don't understand. You need to know. What you do with your package after you check right no? Correct. But but I'm trying to convey to Galen. Galen, were you around uh like last week when we were doing the ICM Five. stuff with Pile of Diamonds? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Do you recall with like the mega risk premium on the bubble? Like it depends. The risk premium here mm -hmm. might not be as high, and so we might be check raising. All the risk premium does is going to uh, zero check on our. But then we don't have tens your, in range. It's going to dampen that... your size. Is all it's really going to do. I mean, like if you don't no, have do, representation, wait, do not... it's sort of... we saw our the check... range was it was literally only two pair. Like, yeah, high equity hands right went away completely. Right... It was really we we really shifted the higher equity uh, hands and a high higher equity bluffs that looked like when we were looking at that shit. Like was... maybe ace queen here, maybe. I think and I should it, bet and then now it's like two pair. the more and I think around. about it, if he has so a hand like, the... ace, uh, like ace queen, he's never gonna fold it, right? No, he's not. That's why I th I, this check race check thing seems kind of crazy to me. Like I, I don't know if I'm like on a different planet or not, but right. That's what I'm trying to say too. Like we still have all the nuts. Yeah, this guy was Brazilian. I was trying to trap him. He was really aggressive, so I made a mistake by checking it. And he checks back. Yeah, okay. So he's checking back a ton here. You get like a a really <laughs> really good river card to do this with, though. Like he's gonna be in the nuts. Oh. He's gonna he's gonna be in the box with so much stuff here now. No, you, you, should ace, bet, you should bet. You should bet thirteen here. I uh, probably don't. You I should learn nothing fine, from from our studies, huh? I think there was no jamming fine. with the risk premium this high. There's no jamming anymore. Well, I have the nuts. Do I not? Yeah. So you bet thirteen and pray he'll call an ace. Yeah, maybe you're right. So, so what hands do we think he's calling the checkers with on the flop and not betting the turn? King Jack. Ace King, Jack Ten, um, Ace Ace King, uh, so, uh, Jack Eight Nine maybe or I don't know maybe and not Eight Nine Eight Nine Eight Nine's a bit of a stretch. 
a lot, a lot of, 10X. of 10x how many 10x when we Max. have two of them in our okay, hands Jacks. well that's true oh, right that's Sorry. true you, you are double blocking 10x <laughs> that's true that's it. completely fair i forgot what our hand was for a second okay, but it, it reaches into that composition yeah i'm just wondering how much we're betting the river and what sizing when the ace comes mm -hmm. i mean like, it's definitely it... better for his range without a doubt it's definitely better for his range we could check nope. jam too i'm sure yeah i'm wondering if it's a better hand to just check jam because we'll still yes. have queen x in range that want to be protected as well and those yeah, are yeah, yeah. or we bet small like like a block bet. Well, i think you're just uh you're gonna let his hands like queen jack just realize their equity too frequently yeah. i think is the problem He's going to check it I'm back through all his pocket pair. Yeah, me too. Sure. Me too. Me too. That's what I'm I don't saying mind too. this. I feel like both turn and river can be played in a lot of different ways, and they're probably both fine. But yeah, turn is the interesting street. I think river, well, big bet, or check are both good. Or or even, yeah, I don't know. Hard to know, right? Polar. Polar is the answer on the river. Yeah, I think I think I agree. I think you definitely need to check it some, but big bet's not bad either. Mm -hmm. But maybe not all in at this point. All in just looks like we. I don't know. Does anybody? Like, think are you really gonna check. bluff jam, punt it hold off on, for on. for two x pot? Does anybody think ch the check ra I th the check raise and ICM is a mistake there in that last hand? I know it's like chip EV. Yeah, I just feel like. Again, I don't know because I haven't seen like the post flop ICM sims, but I feel like I the like general it. strategy in this spot is to keep the pot small, so we might like have almost no check raises here if it's final table bubble. I um, agree. I agree. That's, that's what I was saying. Very money close is... to it, but we still the have raises... this never. Uh, yeah. The problem is you're going to have a very hard time getting all the chips in with your value if you don't check raise versus a 1.35 chip bet, big blind bet. Even think, if we uh, have a three or four percent check raise range, unblocking top pair and second you, set, this is gonna find the check raise. Yeah, I'm kind of with Pete. Like, like you're unblocking, you're you're unblocking value. Days. I think it's not a lot of check raises, but I think this is one of them. Yeah, this might be too nuanced. I just feel like in it. I feel like the strategy there should be like he should be going in ICM if he's got you covered and like you have a ton of risk premium. He should just really be going like bet, bet, bet because then you have to fold pretty much everything. Um, so that's why you can just check call there, but who knows if the guy's actually doing that, you know? I mean, yeah, guys might just read, give up with their air or whatever. You should read triple off because the range has become too strong by the turn. So you shouldn't I think it would be great if we identified some of these hands that are really interesting and run them and then actually study them and mm -hmm. with solvers rather than sit here and go back and forth and guess <laughs> forever. Yeah. Like this, I'm getting absolutely nothing from this. Well, the problem yeah. is like we can't Did look at this. Solve the it's, song, a, I, it's an ICM that's scenario. That's not the so, that's not the solution though, honestly. Maybe you were not paying attention here. when we saw the solution. No, we can <laughs> run it in Pionic, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we we could actually do like ICM and all and, and break the spots down. And like like two weeks ago, we spent money like our time looking in Pio ICM without ICM ranges. We could actually do ICM ranges and study in ICM on interesting you, spots and really learn what the solver is doing. But you understand what he's saying. Just because you had ICM doesn't mean that the node's going to all of a sudden change from a range bet to like a polar construction, right? For your check raise What's, range. Can we prep it for one? The ranges are different though. One? Like it's a different game. The, the 10 spot. Ranges are different preflop and like good if you save it, ICM pressure is going to change that, I think. What do you want, Danny? Can you send prep in the... The tens hand. Yeah, he wants to just prep a the... couple hands. So like yeah, in that solution to check raise five three oh, we're not doing that. Final two no. tables. We just ain't doing it. Not <laughs> range. Have, not yeah, range. Yeah, and the raising doing. range will go super thin. I wouldn't be surprised if there was no check raises. Like it's not gonna be a large portion of the strategy like it is in chip EV. Tag the last week, Nick, or no? Hold on. No. Okay. Some of these heads right there are like is that what accurate? Like that. Hold on. Make a note which spots they are, what, how many are left, whatever. Give them the make. I don't play poker. I got all week to sit here and just run hands, and then we can look at a few of them later. And then you guys can complain about how I set it up and how that's no good and blah, blah, blah. But it's better Thank than you. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. But it's Thank better you, Ken. than this. That's I appreciate really the recognition. Good, Thank you. Thank you. That is a really good plan. We forget to criticize you. So let's do yes. that. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate it. Criticize, criticize, criticize.
<laughs> Take a moment to say thank you for taking the time to run many hands that you have over the years. Here. Oh, look at oh, well, that's not fun to say. Come on, Pete. Why are you gonna be so heartfelt and kind? I don't know. Uh, I think uh, you're just pressed into call. I, I hate it. You're not call. doing great. He's gonna have tens, nines, and and wait, wait. That. Is this the final table now? I remember them talking about this hand. Final table bubble. I'm not. I don't think I'm not folding. Even if he has ace king here, your hand is. You open the p. He jumps into you. Yeah, but he's got seven and a half, so it's five to win. How much? Five to win, like fifteen. You need thirty-three percent equity. Would you rather call this or ace jack off? This. Ace jack off. So B money. So this is the this G. Is this is the ICM range. B money, right? Tens pure call there. No, we've seen ace jack fold in a spot like this, right? Every range um, I looked at, tens was mixing jams and calls. Yeah, that was. See again, I think it's that. That's the last hand. That's. I just think it's it's wildly all over the place depending on the other stacks. So like, oh. yeah, that was that was seven people, and that, that seemed to be. Yeah, the I think we thing need, I we need an HRC for that one, honestly. Yeah, so you'll yeah. send me some hands. I'll yeah. pay right. We'll just do this right. But if you look at that, if you look at that chart, like that chart's got. No, like two like two jams right so it's like there's clearly an iteration of stack sizes where and then I, I looked at some of those other charts where there was a ton of jams so it's clearly all over the place depending on right. other stack sizes for sure so oh, anyway, yeah, this is miserable um i fold it i think i think i'm, I'm calling fan. i like calling yeah but i'm not happy but i'm calling Oh, this guy was a nip. Still, he's a nip. Big, big, big nip. Is he he's jamming can. any pair here? Is well, he yeah, I guess he is a big nip. If he is a big nip, you can think about folding, right? But we've is got a big nip. Stack. This might be one of those weird situations where, like, if we have less chips, this is a fold because he should be super tight. But we don't, since we have so many chips, it doesn't matter as much. But if yeah. you tag the guy as a knit, uh, he put uh, about too much money in the middle to call this. If you believe that he has you beat in the pre flop, but, but it's not. I want to ask you, pay what he it's thought. He, yeah, what does LP think? think of course, yes, range is, is yeah, we're range. always beat pre flop. It's just our odds are so good. Right. Um, yeah, when he has Snap. pocket sevens, pocket eights, pocket nines, oh, no. pocket tens, oh. ace king. I was <laughs> talking about queen jack. I was talking about the, Snap. the sevens. We're still talking about Queen Jack too. Louis just likes to go really fast. <laughs> so I don't even know what happened last hand. I go really fast. I was talking about the hand now. two hands ago. Nick, I go really fast in bed as well. That's a cool round. <laughs> nice, nice. Too much information. At least you're keeping it consistent, so you disappoint oh, everyone. Oh, no. No, Jesus. no, you just call. No, I mean, it's a no, call. You do. You just call. That was are amazing. You sure? Those five chips are worth so much, man. Do we have to gamble? I folded. Oh, oh, I, I, I go for three. Can All right, right Danny. He's going to be doing this with six X. He's going to be doing this with like random oh, cards sometimes. Oh, Any pair, probably. If he's got a five, oh, seven of hearts. A seven of hearts does this. Yeah, he's got worse A6 here. Yeah, Sometimes. okay. Yeah, yeah, you talk me into it. Colin gets shown five six and <laughs> and then cry about it. Yeah. I'm doing this with so much air in his spot. Yeah, I like this. Yes. Wow. Exactly. I do. Chop exactly. it up. Deuce. Chop it up. He gave you the nine deuce. No respect. Dude, that's that, guy, that guy's brave. <laughs> Why did? Huh? I, I like it. Brave. Yeah, I guess it's a reasonable move. Get open a straight draw. You, you do because you're too short. Uh oh. Right? This is. I don't think this is a jam. Is this uh, a jam? This is good, dude. This is good. This I like good. this. Actually, I guess this is a ten. There's a six. Actually, yeah, it's a yeah. good jam. This, this is fine. I mean, this small blind can't really call with ICM pressure, so oh we're God, just he woke up screwed. and we got him. You luck sack. We Let's scammed him. Scam. That's huge. Holy crap. Yeah, it is huge. 
All right. After losing <laughs> the shop and the ace king, that feels great. You were unlucky and then very lucky. Pay attention, guys. Right. This is lose tournaments. Oh. Almost. Almost got him. Almost. Uh, I mean, if... Yeah. Uh, I'm folding. Yeah. Fold, fold. Yeah. I'm folding. Dangerous deuce. Chippy, yeah, they they can't play, we can't fold game. deuces, though. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Are we jam oh, he's jamming. <laughs> okay, he's I was going to say, the question is, if you're not going to fold it, what are you going to do with it? I think yeah. jamming is better than raising. Yes. No. I can deuce. It's a pun. I think Wait, it's terrible at ICM, but yeah. Uh, most of the time, you're going to fold it. Yeah, they call Kuba, right? There's so. a four and eight. We could eight. HRC that one, too. I don't hate boxing them up like that, man. Yeah, there's some short stacks out there, four and eights. They're gonna be they're they're gonna be folding enough to the deuces is gonna be okay. But you're like dead every time they call you. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Or you're flipping. You're hopefully flipping. A lot of yeah. times crash. Yeah, well they're gonna have a lot of ace queen ace king still. Oh. I found one where it's a jam. Give a jam to ten nine here for fifteen. No. Oh. I mean, Why not? ICM, you don't have it's a pair, you don't have any blockers. It's almost all of your stack now, just RFI. Yeah, but when you, I'm when you get so cool, we have good equity, no? I don't know. Apparently, I'm kind of with Jaylen, what do you think? Money. You jam him? I'm kind of with you, Lewis. They moved you to a new table, yeah? So I, it, it would depend on like what the other table looks like to some extent. Haven't we seen in ICM all of our jamming ranges are blocker oriented? It's not about the suited connectiveness of hands. It really? Yeah, them. I mean that that's it's, it. It's definitely a good generalization. I, I do think that um, we are going to have some uh, some jams here with these middling gapper things sometimes. All right, Ken, got another one for you. Fucking hell, man! This is. A you might be able to find this is this is the, the you could probably uh, GTO wizard this one. Everything's very similar as far as stack size goes. I'm gonna see if I can find it. You can probably find this one. Yeah. This one? What, what the, do you think he has? So you got seventeen. Hopefully, overs. He calls. Honestly, I like jamming this. I do jam this in game. When you jump, you have to call. <laughs> what he has a better kicker than you. <laughs> well, he could have seven eight sometimes. He could have spades sometimes. Spades, yeah. He's gonna have a lot of draw in, in on this shove. So uh, yes, I'm calling this for sure. When he jams, I mean, you feel like he's leaning towards flop. Oh, Jack man. five. <laughs> what is this? What? What a what a monster. Sometimes they show you Jack five. Oh, oh, like, just... Santa comes down the chimney and just leaves you a present. Why? <laughs> why are we in Disneyland? <laughs> Final table bubble jackpot. I put the pocket deuces spot in the chat. Something similar, I think. Yeah. Okay. That that looks reasonable. Oh wait, sorry. That is the wrong. That's the wrong file. Hold okay, on. so this is a hand where this guy's Never gonna mind. rip my soul. God damn it. He ripped your soul up, huh? What's going on here? Yes, so basically, flop goes check, check. Mm -hmm. A six pairs on the turn. So what do you do? You can donk, man. That's you all. Can donk, you can bet small sometimes. Especially with the or, wait, he, it went check, check, so you can definitely bet here sometimes. One third box. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You got it, yeah. dude. You got a good bluff spot. Yeah. I hate or it chips. for you. Check. Give up. You, Queen of Hearts is bad to have. I think I'm hit with yeah. Nick here, man. Just give up. You'll have so much just better garbage. I would say this, okay? This feels half-hearted. Because if you actually have a six or a straight, are you ever putting in this, like, one foot in, one foot out, half pot bet. Like, if you're going to bluff, man, pot. 
it's always you gotta put it. like your you gotta put your big big girl pants on and uh put some chips in the middle man okay so like pot if you're gonna bluff okay but I'm kind of with Nick, where it's like uh, the Queen of Hearts not great. Oh, you're just uh, <laughs> this is this is pocket eights or something crazy. No, it's not yeah, pocket eights. Fives pocket or sixes. sixes. Pocket sixes, yeah. That's Five. the only one that would check back on the flop, right? Good. You you really like? I feel like if you're gonna bluff, you want a, a heart river, right? Yeah, I agree. And like, he can definitely have some six x. I mean, four, he actually maybe he doesn't. He, he dude, a four is good, a seven's good, an eight's good. Those you are can all maybe good like micro cards. bluff and target his insta folding stuff that he got there with. Yeah, it looks like 10 9 suited is a good jam. <laughs> oh, do you jam here? Do you have a jam here? You, you is it jamming a lot from that region there, Nick? I can't find the exact structure, but I'm looking at the button has 23, small blind has 17, the big blind has 14, which mm. is similar. Um, and it? your whole suited, uh, suited eights to ben block. Yeah, yeah, ben yeah. Block. the suited eights and better are jamming. King, jack 10 queen 10 king 10 0, uh, offsuit tens, offsuit jacks, all jamming. Low suited aces jamming, suited kings jamming, twos yeah. through sevens jamming. You're just jamming a ton. Yeah, I feel like me and Galen, we went through this when we were doing some review the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It... We 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 ran into some similar spots, Lewis, when we were looking at your thing. I'm looking at final two tables, though. I don't know how close we are. Um, but yeah, you're jamming 19% of the range and RFIing 25% of the range. Hmm. So lots of jams. Man, Speaking this jams, spot. Is this okay. a jam? Is this spot I'm going to play differently depending on the player. If this is like Brazil and he's going vamo vamo, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. But uh, if it's if it's not and it's somebody with like nitty or stats, I might just call. If this is exactly what it is. This is a Brazilian on the final going table, right? vamos vamos. Oh, the final okay. table. Win. Win. If he's saying oh, vamos vamos, final, final two. Yeah, he is. He is going vamos here. I think it's final two tables because we Luis just got to have twenty big ones. He's got oh, okay. 20 big ones. Oh, no rollback. Okay. Um, I think this is going to I found this exact stack configuration, but it was final table. Even final table, we jam half the time here. Yeah, yeah. I'm jamming. So you guys think it's a good jam? I yeah, I'm ready. So. Final two, I would jam, yeah. Nice. If it's final table, I'm not, but final two, I'm jamming. So right. this was a great stats. idea until this. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's actually God. a call, huh? Well, this is a cool. I guess there's so many short stacks, yeah. right? Like it's not good for us if we lose, right? Because Vamo, Vamo, yeah, you got to hit the turn, Vamo. What? That is unbelievable. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh -hoo, hoo. This is why you jam with the ace. Ooh. Hide the cards. Hide, hide the cards. Hide the cards. Hide the cards. He's tilted. I'm calling. Easy call. All right. What's the worst pair you're calling there, though? That's a good question. This one. Ask. I'm pretty Maybe close, to be honest. Eights is kind of like a uh, maybe the floor for me. Maybe eights. Yeah, uh, somewhere in that. Yeah, thanks. So well. All right, I put the one that I found for Ace Four in the chat. Yeah, I can't find it's a good one. Actually, pretty close. Oh, ace but it, it's, oh, it's one of those where it's jamming Ace Ace Deuce and Ace Three, isn't it? But yeah, this cool. looks good. It's very polar. So like, jamming the bottom of the deck and then that like middling strong Ace region. What was the Deuce spot, Danny? Uh, it was where Louis was bought. Uh, I, I just got an open jam. Uh, I just limp here. Uh, we can put so much pressure on here. No, really, no, no, no. Risk, really we don't of, really want to have play a big pot with this guy. You don't want to jam this, so I would just raise here. Didn't they have more than 11 big blinds? Yeah, I like limp. Oh, you check? I think that's yeah. fine. Potentially, I thought the small blind had like 
17 maybe and the big line was short <laughs> oh the four liner i mean oh, okay we it actually was the saved. closest i could find you lost yeah. the minimum yeah Do we ever think about checking back that king five there to see if he'll probe or induce there no. on the turn? No, no, no. not really. No. I think you want to range. I thought range it was range. final table. Yeah. I think you want to range. Range that one table. table. This is Louis, how do you feel when you made the final table? Man, I was relieved. He felt nothing inside. Nothing. He's, yeah, that's because no he's dead. Right. No big deal. They've taken his soul. A question and on the ace seven. If we jam, does he call the ace ten there? Given the stack configuration, probably yeah. not, but he might. And if he okay. does, oh, the stack configuration ace ten is in a sad state. <laughs> Looks good to me. You guys don't think we should bet small there on the river because he's super capped. No, he's not capped when the flush completes. I think we could have checks. Potentially. Thing is, darn goes check check. So I just bet big with my. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how do you structure? You, you could definitely be checking back aces on check. the on the on the flop on the turn. I mean, I'm just always bowler here with bluffs, and with this. I, I don't think you're always bowler here. I think you're definitely gonna have small bets. You have small bets, but I don't know if you want a small bet of flush. I don't think I, you do. You're right. I'm, I'm not... Three top pair is betting small. Second pair is betting small. There's plenty of block bets. What do you do if you get jammed on? Fold. Ugh. With the this hand, I'm calling. With other hands, probably folding. It's wait, like wait, ace X of spades every time. <laughs> you cry. You said you're, you're calling, Louis? With the, oh. the queen eye flush? I would or? fold, I think. Bro, I'm folding. If that guy jammed fold. over my big polar <laughs> bet on the river, and I've... Played all day to make it to the final table of a Sunday major. And it's he like ace four of spades. Yes. You're yeah. folding. You're folding to a jam here. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Why I, I ask am. this is because if you're polarizing to fold to a jam, I think it's a mistake. Um, because I I think the sizing is probably wrong. Then I I'd rather bet small and call a raise than bet big and have to fold mm. to a jam. Maybe I, I'm okay. I I can see where you're going with that. Although you're kind of you're kind of giving him more room to bluff if you bet small. It Which is fine. What a snap I mean, ball. I mean, there's no. You can also down. check and call any sizing. I think that's good too. But I don't think they're gonna bet well, enough. Maybe not a jam. Who <laughs> yeah, yeah, would be problem, right? What if he piles? What if he piles? You check and he piles. <laughs> 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 oh man, I, I would I would roll around on the ground and cry about it. Right. Is he really doing uh, this such a big mess? Aces there, there right? Shouldn't we be it's betting a lot smaller it. here? This oh, sizing that yeah. one big. I like this or sizing. If, I like the sizing if you're deeper. You're too shallow for this. Here comes Big Bet Louie again. We roasted oh, Louis. you for this last time. Like He's this is just oh, betting one big line or checking now. back. This is bad. That's good. That's true. You you've improved. This you only did awful. it one time. Yeah, I, I don't blame I, I like... you for wanting max protection here. I uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't like a big you. bet here. I don't it's like not it. Great. I don't yeah, like he, it. Just the he's got two. Ball. He's got fours. <laughs> only Louis, Louis was scared, man. He was scared. <laughs> I don't blame him, man. I've been hurt. I know Louis's been hurt. I've seen what Louis's been through. I'd be scared too. Do you know? Do you know? Just, just put a little bet out okay. there. What are you guys do here? Shall Just always jam. <laughs> and standard. Then uh, hit the king. Yes. Oh, I remember you scammed him again, didn't you? What do we think about this? Call? Standard? King in the window. It seems yeah, he's like... small stack. I think he has to call that. You're very good at getting in, getting it in bad and winning. Uh, actually, uh, that's all I can do, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in every tournament you win, you have to get it in bad and, and hit. At least oh, five times. Dirty. They say if you're not getting it in bad enough, you're not bluffing enough, right? <laughs> Is that not true? 
I would no, say it's I think true, it's if you're I... not betting river and getting called by better, you're not thin value betting enough. Ooh. People who say if you're not I think that's true you're not get, are the people who are getting it in bad too much. Those are who those they are. No, oh you win this goodness. one. This is this one you win, isn't it? No, this no, is the one you get scammed. Yeah. Oh, wait. How do you lose? No, no, no. Because the other one was against the big one. <laughs> How many right. times did you get queens at the final table? What the hell? Three times. Nice GM. Whoa. Yeah. How do we feel about this yeah. one? Yeah. With this 12 uh, here, big... I feel like this is a jam in two spot. No, no, with no, four left, I don't know if pretty he's not out of line anymore. He's not shallow enough for jam any two. If he had like three big blinds, sure. Uh, yeah, I, he doesn't want to call him anything though when you jam him. The thing is, if find, he could wake up with set, aces. Get, 30, 50, 50, 20, 20, to jam more. That's how it works. The bigger the stack, the more you get to jam. Right. <laughs> His risk premium is infinite here, right? No, no, so he's not the 30. But his risk premium is really high, right? Mm. The problem here is you're jamming with middle of your range, which generally isn't good. I mean, it's there's it's four left, so it's not that high. Um, it, it's still definitely relevant. And he's What'd also... Do, I walked away to make eggs. Yes. What did you do? What I would say is if the 30 big blind stack also had 10, I would love this. Bro, this is this is this is fine. I don't think this is I, like a big deal. I don't think there's as much pressure on him as you think there is. I agree. I think it's close. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Well, I think jam here, maybe with the king jack. You could look at it. I don't think it's that bad. I'm honest. trying to think... find one. It's hard. It is. Yeah. The 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 arrangements are narrower and narrower. Yeah. Like the small blind isn't that shallow, or the uh, cutoff. Who's shaking up their protein? Yeah. Shape? It's more, how's, it's how's more um, lip. But it's kind of sad when you come forth from this scenario. You're whipping up some eggs. Mute that yeah. bastard. <laughs> All right, King Jack. His queen. Very nice, running hot. Now Ooh. this one. Oh, here's the pun. Oh. Oh. This, this is fucking terrible. Wait. I don't know about that, man. I, I do. I don't think you can make a play here that's terrible. You can't it's call. Not possible. You can't call. Why not? It's a ten big blind jam. You. It's a fifth of your stack. Like, there's no reason to call. And this is a lot yeah, of ace x and king x. So, what's the, the ICM pressure here isn't very high on us, right? Hmm. We want to be putting pressure on, not calling off marginally. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, I still feel like this has to fall. Maybe I'm a nit. I don't know. I'm never. Uh, I don't know either, dude. I, I don't know. I, I punt, so. Personally, I think calling is fine and folding is fine. We're going to be chip leader. We're still chip leader. It's a, wants to. There's it's something to be said for keeping H the short C stack in. Yeah, you're doubling up. Chip. You're doubling up the short stack. Yeah, yeah. Be, there's something said to keep the shorty in if you fold, but there's also something said to be like we can just knock him out and free <laughs> Andy. I mean, this range is just so much ASX and King X. Like we're flipping so much here, and I just don't want to. I don't want to gamble. I want to be putting jamming, He's jamming all his put, pairs, right? Put one in chat that is close. Yeah. If so really we think it's jamming range is. We lose if we fold here, we lose one big one, one, which, one, which we can get back trivially on any hand. And the opportunity to take him out, it's not such a great I mean, we're not ahead to take him out. First question I like to ask is what we think their jamming range is, and that determines, I think, uh, how oh yeah, let me put is. that in chat too. Every ASX, uh, most King X um suited connectors which we're beating some of those all pairs do you think uh jack 10 suited's in there for sure right how about suited nines king nine eight yep. king nine, uh, yep, queen nine. yeah so they're all in there right uh how about jack 10 uh 
all the suited uh, no days and most of the off season. That's all right, I'll put probably... their their jam in our response. There you go. Yeah, yeah I think this is reasonable. Mm -hmm. That was close. That's why we're debating. I think our call's close looking at this range, but I would still think it's probably good. The more that they're jamming the top of the range, the worse that this is for us. Yeah, so if they're jamming ace ten suited and yeah. ace jack, ace queen o, pocket jacks, pocket tens. Uh, yeah. To be fair, in this one, ace ten and ace jack suited are raised to six, which if they're not doing that, they're probably just jamming. It's yeah, be probably yeah, jamming like they, they take that out. They put that in the jam range. So what do we do I, against a raise six. Uh, if I'm a, we jam, okay. <laughs> I'm at a table with like Negranu and a bunch of people that are just amazing at poker. I'll take these spots, but otherwise, I'm just gonna sit there. Like the the marginal zero EV spots on a final table, I'm just gonna pass. Like yeah, I'm not I like it. I like it. It's bottom of range. I like folding. Fair. If you do yeah. double him here, the three of them are pretty close, and you can still just pressure all of them. They're all trying to outlast each other a little bit. Yeah, I suppose like bottom of chip EV range is more like queen nine suited. So like. Or would it be lower? I'm not sure. Maybe it's lower than that. But, but like, cost yeah, of losing this hand also changes you from a guy who has double their stack to a guy who has ten more bigs than them. Right? That guy has thirty, has twenty eight bigs, and you'll go down to uh, forty four. Like you're in, you're in much more danger than when you have fifty and he has twenty eight. Yeah, I think the most profitable way to play chip leader spots, in my opinion, is apply a small aggression everywhere and then just fold in these spots. Like, mm -hmm. so did you oh. see it's a call, but it's 0 0.05 EV and aces yeah, would be 1.75, so it's not even five percent of aces. Meaning, yeah, probably you can we'll skip it and yeah. What's the EV of king queen off? Be happy. King queen off is 0.13, so about. Uh, seven percent of aces. So Nick, you'd fold king queen off here as well, then I assume. Uh, king queen off is really close. It's miserable because yeah. you're beating a lot of king x. Then I might call king queen. I'm definitely calling king queen. I mean, I might even think about that. <laughs> All right, so Hi. close spot. I made the call. We lost. Yeah, I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call that a pawn. No, it's no, just it's, like, do you want to take the variance or not? It's cuspy. It's hard to know. You gotta just think. It really depends what you think their jamming range is. <laughs> if you're doing good, good enough against it, you call. If not, you fold. This is an easy fold. And depends if you think you have an edge or not. Yeah. Easy or, fold. Or... Hmm. Seems close, man. I don't know. No, yeah. Yeah, I it's... think it's close too. He's jamming more aces for sure. Again, or four-handed. Time. You gotta remember. I think it's pretty close. I think it's still a fold, but I think it's yeah. I don't think it's clear. This is the how we get scammed. Three <laughs> X seems good. Jam. Is he good? Oh my god! Here goes the heart. It starts racing. Yeah, I was doing over this. I don't, think, I don't think this is a good jam. That's a terrible call. Yeah, for them. Uh, yeah, it's not good. It's like too middly. Like if this was like Ace Deuce, sure. <clears throat> The ace eight. No. I think it, his jam's fine. You see it, Scotty? I see it. Over. No, surely not. Surely no. not the snowman. Yes. Oh no. Yes. I think this I think... is where you can pull from. Double snow. So that one was worth six K or eight K. <laughs> That's brutal, man. Eight thousand dollar hand here. Can you try to find oh, a, a solve, Danny? Because I think this is reasonable for him. Huh? Oh, He's yeah. big, though. 26 blinds. Yeah. And you say off. I suppose it's good because, like, like, what can Louis cool with? I don't think it's that good. <laughs> what does Louis cool with Ace, Ace 9 0? Yeah, I think it's too much. Yeah, it is a lot. 26 and a half. It's better yeah, with like yeah. your crappy ASEX, right? Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
I don't think so. I mean, in chippy in chippy V spots, you want to call with you want to three bet your crappy aces and your best aces. I don't know here here it might be different, but the middle aces you want to call with because you just get them to call with better and fold out worse. Three bet, I think. I think he should fold. I think he should fold AC. Honestly, yeah, be money. I think. I think you broke that down well. That's AC what pure call. Well. Is it? Oh, let's see the range, Danny. Range incoming. You want to share your screen or no? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna throw it in chat. Share the screen. It's it's better. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, so ace nine off, so ace Early. seven off. So I mean, yeah, hey. it's reasonable. Yeah, All the yeah. are doing it. That's reasonable. It's in the it's in the region. Yeah. Jam, this is it's less like chips. Just a little bit worse. Yeah. This yeah. This it's is less chips. Twenty three. So no, three less chip. Oh no. Oh, you're read right. it. Yeah. So there's this one, and then there's also this one. Seemed like it kind of matches as well. We can look at this. No, one. I think I think the one we got is better, but. Yeah, it's it's two two and a half chips off. It's fine. Mm. This one it is jamming. More ground to make up in this one, I think. I thought he was, from average stack. I thought he was button. I thought uh, another button line. They were button. I thought that was it all was, big no, line. It was line on line. All right, can I give it back, Louis? Yeah. So, what happened from here is that the short stack double, and I didn't double. I didn't lose you just any. Blind it out. And then this is, do you think it's a jam from five big blinds here? I have a blocker, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I would fold. Probably it's close. Fold. Uh. I'm putting it in. It's I'm really close. close. How do you put it in if it's not this? No, you so can't wait for, for a more or an ace. ace. I want to try to see a couple more hands open this 10 big blind gets something they have to get involved with and busts. Mm. Or I mean, we get the button with it. Like we get still like at least two high cards. Like I don't so know. Low. The conflicting issues here are one, you have no fold equity. Uh, and your hand is pretty terrible, but on the flip side, you're four-handed, so you're going to get blinded out very fast. <clears throat> what do you yeah, think about get... just like limp folding, limp folding versus jam? No, oh. I don't want to waste the chip. The guy's just going to put anything in. He's going to put anything in. Wasting ten percent of your stack. Yeah, I don't want to waste <laughs> the chips. I would just fold here and hope to get something decent on the button or cut off. Yeah, I mean, I, I think percentages like wise, it doesn't really matter. Like. If you jam, you or if you pick up one pot, you're increasing your chip, chip stack by like over double that. I just don't here's know. How, the, here's how I, I think I shove this if he, if I or if I. We I think we have to find the first in spot. Trash, does he? We're the not odds gonna are always find the first in spot. We no, have a queen in our hand. Next, the odds are your next three hands are going to be, be one of your next three hands is going to be better for this, and you can get it all in in one of your next three, including the next big blind. If someone opens and you're looking at king ten, it's like not very good. Wait, no, better than this. With with five with five big blinds, it's you not. Don't... It's not better than this. Yes, it is. You have a queen high for five bigs against a random hand. Yeah, queen five against a hundred percent of his range is pretty good. Is it? Yeah, it's prince. Yeah. Is, yeah. I thought queen. I thought we needed like queen nine. This is ten percent of aces. The equity here, it's so good. Isn't queen seven like the computer where it's like queen the, seven the is the, it's the midpoint. We're below the midpoint. How does that? Yeah, so half the time he's gonna have a worse hand. A little less than half. <clears throat> I, mean... I don't know. When I look at this, I don't really want to put my chips in here because <laughs> this chip leader is going to be applying a lot of pressure to the other ten big blind guy, and uh, I'm just gonna try to get a pay jump. I don't know if it's like better than putting it in, fighting for your queen here, but I yeah, think that's about, what I would do. We're here to win the tournament. When we jam here, he should let us have this pot a lot so he can apply pressure to the other people. 
No, they won't. They, they won't, though. <laughs> no, but, like, he shouldn't take this spot with a marginal hand, right? Like, King-Queen's going to call off, but... Right? He should pass a lot of marginal spots here. Yeah, I mean, there he's going to play pretty close to a chippy V because, like, okay. there's basically zero <laughs> risk premium. For so him. when he calls, we're doing worse. We, we're not going to double up as often if he's going to play, like, Peter suggests, which I don't disagree with, honestly, but if that's what he's doing, then we're not going to get any easy doubles. Uh, we should, you should take off the um, filtered for hands that V pipped and go look at the fold you made because there were some folds I would never fold. Mm, that would be like interesting what? too. Like at this final four, like you folded ace six off from the cutoff a few hands ago with like seven big blinds, I think. Ooh. I would jam that. Interesting. What do you mean? No, from the cutoff. It feels close, man. I was watching you playing. You folded a fold I never would have done. Or you folded a hand I never would have folded. Put yourself down to the 10 big blind spots and then run it from there. It's not this hand. You had like six or seven big blinds in the cutoff. And you folded an off two days. Wait, this one's close too. What do you do here? I think I would open. <clears throat> I'm just piling here. I would just open right. Ay, ay, ay. You guys are blasters. Show me yep. stacks again. More effective. You and for what it's want to punt it off, man. Yep. I can open the short stack. I got an ace block or I'm on the butt. I'm gonna open the button. I'm jamming a crappy ace. I mean, I'm not two X in it. I peeled one card and I saw an ace. That's all I need, one. Danny. Is this, this the the hand you're talking about, Nick? Yeah. I'm jamming here. Oh, you can't fold. You can't fold here. If you fold, he folds. This guy has a jamming range, right? Yeah, fold. What? He, jam. he does. But um, y you dip into the danger zone if you let the blinds pass one more time. Yeah, it's like you're so, so low here. And you're going to get blinded out so quickly, you're just not going to get a better opportunity. Well, it's just one of those things. If you let an orbit go by and you have four big blinds, you... you you lose a significant amount of fold equity, I think, compared to like almost seven. He's four handed as well, which makes this even better because, like, people haven't folded like shitty cards. So, you guys think this is a go, right? Yeah, I would go. Here. Jam. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. No, okay. no, no, no. I wouldn't jam. I wouldn't Maybe jam. it's better make than it, my king five, five, right? Blinds. Yeah, yeah the solver goes four, four big blinds here. Yeah, yeah might, might as well go for this one than two ends later, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but don't jam. Make it like five. When I say right, jam, so I'm saying effectively jam. Yeah. Our range for the the ace five is there. The ace five, which is the okay. one we just looked at. Yeah. On, okay, yeah. on, on that oh, ace the bottom, five, though. instead of actually jamming, do you do that? Leave yourself one big blind, and that way, if somebody jams and someone else calls, you fold for the pay jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You bother to do that? Okay. I know. I know. I have a I okay. think our range is going to be even wider than this because uh, they're deeper in um, yeah, the actual game. I agree. So you put five big blinds in here. Yeah. Yep. Four okay. or five. All right. And then the A6 on the button is below it. Or you just want to ram it home. All right. For what it's worth, we should probably look at. Whenever we're reviewing these study sessions, look at all the hands on a final table because ICM is so relevant. There's some big folds that you don't normally make. Yeah. So if you're yeah. shooting you're not going to see those. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense, especially on the final table. All so right. That's... Well, that was a nice little hand mystery. It was. Yeah, well played. Good job, Louis. Oh. Thanks a lot. Yeah, good job. How much you win Six with this goal. one? Uh, 6K. Good job. How, how much game. of yourself did you have? Oh, that's the best part, Lewis. How much do you think I had? I 100%. know how much I had. I checked the staking lobby and you weren't there. Five percent. So. You say five percent, Ken? <laughs> no, man. He had all of it. He had everything. One hundred percent. He had everything. I late nice. registered. Welcome to the team, Louis. No, no, I late registered one minute. I ain't in your. Oh team. wait. Wait, you didn't you didn't skip the line? <laughs> he was uh, like, "Oh, it didn't sell. I'm gonna play anyway." <laughs> That's what I do. It was a GG. Then you don't get bubble protection.
I'm so broke. No, man, I just woke up and uh, I woke up too late for this one, mm. so I just played it anyway. Dude, I slept a lot today. I'm going to play great. All right. All right, guys. See you guys on the Discord. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs>